this week's Performance TV. Kathy, I gotta tell you, when they told us we're doing a segment on a four-wheel drive, turbocharged diesel drag racing truck, I went, really? <laughs> but now we popped the hood, and I was like, really? Oh, I know, and I was a little concerned myself, but. I gotta know more about this. Yeah, and you know, the, I got the guy that can tell us all about it, Johnny Gilbert from Stainless Diesel. This is absolutely amazing what you've done here. Thank John, you. Johnny, I mean, one turbo, two, tur three turbochargers? I mean, tell me about this truck. I mean, how much power does it make? I mean, I know you didn't buy this truck to go drag racing with it. No, it actually hauled my race car to the track <laughs> at, at one point. So, uh, yeah, it's got three turbos. Uh, you haven't lived until you had three turbos at least. <laughs> but uh, it makes uh, just over a thousand horsepower at the crankshaft and it's been high tens in a quarter mile. There's a lot of stuff crammed in this farmer. You got different fuel injection on it, it looks like. I mean, it not only runs good, it looks good. It's a lot of one-off components, custom fuel injection set up on it. Well, I mean, the stainless steel, so you guys have a lot of components for you, you guys sell for these things. Let's, let's check some of these out. Yeah, like starting off right here at the base and look at the exhaust manifolds. Now, tell me a little bit, th these look like these are for the same truck, but we got a little bit of different stuff going on, Johnny. What, sure. what we got here? Well, these are stainless manifolds for the Cummins diesel. Basically, they replace the uh, cast iron OEM type manifolds and uh, they don't crack. So we've got zero failure rate with these. Well, what do we got going on here? What are these actually hook up here? These are pre-drilled and tapped for gauges. So if you want to read your EGTs, you can do that. And which we know EGT is extremely important and no matter what you're running, but especially here in the diesels. Now, when I look at the different footprints mm -hmm. on these, this one's obviously smaller. This one's got a different hook up here. Why is that? Uh, it's just two different sizes in the industry. There's a, a T3, which is kind of the OEM size, and the T4, which would be your upgrade from that. Any bigger than that, or is this what oh, we've yeah. got here? A T6, which is even larger than this one here. Hmm, well, based on what you've done on this truck over here, I've got another truck here, and I think we're just gonna take it up one step. And I'm gonna go ahead and install this manifold right now. Yeah, well, good luck with that. <laughs> uh, Johnny, this here is a twin turbo piping kit. Tell, tell me a little bit about the, uh, the piping kit. Well, this is something that we uh, fabricate in-house. We build them for the 1990 to 2010, 2011 Dodge diesels. Well, that's perfect. Now, the turbochargers, they, they've come a long ways in the last few years. The, the performance, see a lot more turbochargers on the racetrack these days. I think they're kind of figuring out the technology with them. We got a, we got a smaller turbo here, a bigger turbo here. Bigger is better, right? Got to have bigger, sure. but what's the difference between these two turbos? Uh, primarily why we go with uh, a smaller turbo is for drivability, so that you have that fast spool up or the transient boost. And then uh, the large turbo kind of comes on in the mid-range and top end. All right, so on this truck over here, after Kathy gets done putting the exhaust manifold on, which turbo are we going to put on this one? Both of those. Both of them. I like it. Bigger is better. I like mm -hmm. it. Hey, Kathy, how you coming? You broke a nail yet putting that exhaust manifold on? I'm ready to put this turbo on. Let's get going. Oh, yes, Tommy. No problem. We've already got it all taken care of on here. You know what? What I'm kind of curious about, though, can you tell me what the difference is inside the manifolds that you make? Sure. Here's a good representation. This is ours is on the left. Uh, competitors on the right. Look at the oval in here compared to the, the circle. It's got to help with airflow sure. and, and velocity. Quite a bit larger as well as the oval shape keeps up uh, velocity. And uh, notice how thick it is. It retains all the thermal energy with inside the manifold. Well, a lot of thoughts have definitely gone into that. And glad we got that one put on here now. Kathy, step aside. You got, I got some man's work here to do. That's all right, Tommy. Girl already laid all the hard part in there, so you can come in and take all the glory. Yeah, I know. Johnny, this turbo, like, what separates your turbo from everybody else? Uh, we've got a new stainless diesel five-blade compressor wheel and it works really well in compound turbos or the twin turbos that we're putting on today. Oh, so that's your specialty? Yes. All right, cool. Hey, we've got to take a break on Performance TV. While we're gone, I'm gonna put this turbo in. When we come back, we're gonna install that second turbo and show you how. Performance TV, presented by Low Car Performance Products, is being brought to you by ARP, the world leader in fastener technology. And by Stainless Diesel, put boost in your veins. And by Brin, performance, quality, reliability. As the original inventor of high flow cotton air filters, k &N continues to be the number one selling performance air filter in the world. And not by accident, k &N laboratories are constantly performing product quality, performance, and durability tests to help ensure their products perform as promised. That's why k &N can offer the world's first million mile limited warranty on most of their products. In the kit, you get a little card, keep it in your vehicle, it's got a phone number on it, it's toll free. If you have any problems, call them, they'll be glad to help you out. Better acceleration and more horsepower when you need it. If you've ever wanted a little more horsepower from your motor when you were climbing a 
hill, towing a trailer, or passing on a two-lane road, Tandon Intake Systems are a great way to increase your vehicle's horsepower. A lot of horsepower very easily with these filters. A guarantee they can make based on the thousands of dyno tests they have performed. You can visit knfilters.com to look up the estimated horsepower increase available to your car. So join the millions of consumers who have discovered the power of a great idea. Washable, reusable air filters and intake systems built to last. Make your move to KNN, the world's best air filter. Performance TV. While we're at break, we installed the first turbocharger on the truck. Now, Johnny, we're going to install the second one on here. Is there anything we need to do to this before we bolt it on? Yeah, I just make sure that we prime the turbocharger before it's installed. Nobody wants a dry start. Oh, okay, so we're, we're at. All right, we take care of that. Right here, that's where the oil goes in the turbocharger, yep. a little, yep. little prime. That's the, that's the oil in right there. All right, cool. Now it's ready to put on? Yes, sir. All right, let's bolt this baby on. Johnny, we got we got one turbo down here. We got another turbo up here. Why two turbochargers? I mean, what's what's the purpose of having two? Well, you get the drivability from the small turbo, so fast spool up, if you will, and uh, the large turbo you get all the power on the top end. All right. So if one's good, two's better. There you go. All right. There we go. Bye. All right. What's the next step? Any other We're tips do or the tricks? Turbo feed line. This turbo is the oil feed line, feed line. makes oil. the turbo. Uh, Nice and happy. Right here? Yep. All right. Oil, I'm sure, is good. Yep. Oil cools it and lubricates it. So. Yeah, well, that's, that's a good thing. There you and, go. Uh, can't have one without the other, I suppose, so. All right, tighten those up. All right, Johnny, what's the next step? Here we got the air filter pipe. I've already got the sensor installed. All right. And it just goes right on the big turbo. Right down on the bottom there. Mm-hmm. Weave our way down in there. Yep. That might be easier said than done. Yep. We'll start up here. Yep. Come in here. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Something like this. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, that went on nice. Yep. All right, got that all tight. All right. What next step? Air filter. thing with this one, yep. All right, slide that down in there too. Mm-hmm. Sneak it right down the same way. Imagine with a turbocharger, you gotta have a pretty good air intake system since that's, uh, that's what a turbocharger is all about. It's air, moving air. Oh yeah, you got lots of CFMs. Yep, a setup like this on this style of truck with the right fueling and tuning, you're looking at around 800 horsepower. You can tow a trailer that weighs 18,000 pounds, gooseneck trailer, just like it's not even hooked to the truck. So I, I can see why your, uh, your, your tow vehicle truck became the race truck when you got to plan around a little bit. This is true. All right, what's next? So this is gonna be the intercooler pipe. All right. It's gonna connect from our top turbo to the intercooler. I'm assuming down and under like this. this? Yep, my trick is to put it into the intercooler boot first. And push it in there a little farther. All right. All right. Now just give you enough one. room. Yep. And then you can pull it back forward. There you go. Hmm. All right. Got the hose on. Clamp in place. Looks like we're missing something. What else? Just got one more pipe. All right. Anything special about this pipe? Uh, it just transfers compressed air from the large turbo into the little one. And now uh, this one's a little blinged up. Yeah, I like it. Shiny. A little polished option. So we got many colors available for the pipes. So match your vehicle. Oh yeah. Little, sure. A little bling going on it. Sure. All right. So where this go? That goes on the front of the little turbo. I got that. This way. Mm -hmm. Of course, this way. All right. All right. 
you can slide the clamp off there. And then this slips in. Bring up the pretty chrome pipe. Looks like polished, right? Yep, polished stainless steel. Yep. There you go. Plopped right in the I place. got a clamp for you here for the... There, look at that. All right. Heck, I got what I'm doing now. Trained professional. Front or back? That one goes to the turbo side. This is relatively simple. Everything bolts right together. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It uh, comes with pictures on the instructions. It takes a... Uh, picture. I like pictures. It takes about a half a Saturday to put on. Half a Saturday for a whole lot of power. Now, we increasing horsepower or torque more with these turbos? Uh, on the diesels, you actually get both, and uh, you get quite a bit more torque to pull your trailer. If you're going to pull your boat and go fishing or your race car to the track, it definitely increases torque. And uh... One thing I thought I heard you say, you said over 20 miles per gallon? Yeah, yep. if you drive it nice, uh, with all that power, it's hard to drive nice. But, uh, how, about a, how about a clamp for the bottom down here? Sure. Well, now that we know that you guys can do these, obviously for the, the Dodge, what about some of the other vehicles, Duramax, can you do them sure. for Power Stroke? Uh, we do have some turbo upgrades for those. Well, uh, what I want to know is why, it didn't take me that long at all to put the manifold on, but I'm a little concerned with Tommy here, but you've done it now once, so. Yep. I tell you, that's a little harder than I thought. Not bad. First time I'm for every turbo guy on my life. I got my turbo, I'm, I'm, good. I'm a turbo guy now. Jo Johnny, you gotta do me a favor. It's turbo vibe. There you go. Okay. Next time I'm at a drag strip and you're there, I want to make a pass in the four-wheel drive turbo diesel. I'd be, on, oh, yeah. I'd be honored to have you drive it. Yeah, we, we learned that two is good, and, and we know that three is even better, and we want to find out more about these or for any other vehicles. Can we check out your website? Yeah, stainlessdiesel.com. All right, simple as that. And even though, you know, I kind of showed you up there a little bit, Tommy. Uh, we're going to try to do a little bit more, maybe showing up, possibly uh, some transmission installs coming up on Performance TV.